Bradley and Johnson here with an email reply. And also, before this, I'm going to the right position. Feel better. Got myself a little prop for the video. Alright, hey Bradley, big fan. Thanks for your advice and videos. I was wondering a few weeks ago, uh, I seemed to have injured my right wrist. Oh man, I strapped up the wrong way. Oh. Um, uh, injured my right wrist. I have pains when I do push ups on flat palms, and if I overextend the wrist, it, uh, I went to the doctors and they told me to rest it and ice it while taking anti inflammatories. I did it for a few days and it started to feel better. This week, I started training again, and when I train, it doesn't hurt, if anything, due to the blood being pumped around my body, uh, I suppose, but it feels better. But when I am at home, if I stretch, it hurts slightly. But after about 10 seconds of pain subsides, I was wondering if it's okay to train still. If I experience no pain while training, will the injury still heal? If I start to experience pain, would your advice be then to rest? I have been training for about two years and I'm nearly 19. Thank you for your help and really would appreciate a reply. It was difficult for me to read that because that was one sentence, the entire thing. There's no punctuation in that. And I'm not going to be the grammar police, but that's a long sentence, man. Okay. What I tell other people all the time is never let your tiny joints mess with your massive joints, your big prime movers. If you're doing a bench press, don't let your wrist mess up your bench press. If you're doing a, you know, a squat, don't let your ankle, don't let your knee mess up your, uh, your big muscle movement. Always strap up. And the wrist is a really easy one to get around. As I've shown you here, this fixes most uh, uh, ankle <laughs> wrist problems. I have a really tricky left wrist. Right one's fine. My left wrist is sometimes decides it's made of brittle twigs and it feels like it's just gonna snap and fall apart and then I have to strap up during um, some part of, of my workout. It's very often you'll see my workouts and I'm totally fine and at some point you just notice this phantom left wrist uh, strap just appear because sometimes it just plays up with me and I just gotta deal with it. Um, and that's when you strap up. He's saying it's not hurting you, but if it ever feels like it's anything a little bit stiff, just try it up and that's the end of it. In terms, if it's hurting afterwards, um, it's the case that you've just stressed it a little bit and it's gonna hurt. It should get better. If it doesn't, you're gonna wanna see uh, a doctor's opinion, but will your training on it affect it negatively in, your, in terms of your recovery? Of course it will. So what I would suggest to you, normally I suggest to people, wait until it hurts, then put the, uh, the wrist strap on. Wait until you start feeling like, oh, it might, is it's a bad day for your wrist or it's a bit of stress then put it on and generally go without it but for you i would suggest for the next at least month and a half to two months let's call it two months you should wear one of these on your right wrist of course or maybe on both uh depends how it feels um it says you say you have a pain when you do push-ups um now this is one of my father's favorite jokes oh doctor doctor uh, every time i do this my elbow hurts doctor says no do it then that is kind of the advice there. If you if it's hurting during push-ups, push-ups is not an exercise that you really need as part. And I've done a, I've done a million push-ups, man. I'm just saying you don't need them. So you can re remove that and go for something that has much better pec activation anyway, like a bench, press, pew, pew, um, instead of, of what you're doing. And it would hopefully be a little bit better and a little bit better on your wrist, especially with one of these, because one of these is not really reasonable to use during a push-up as it goes against everything what you're trying to do with the wrist. So maybe just take out that exercise because if they ever do an exercise and it hurts, do not do that exercise. I always say to people, if you do an exercise and you feel pain, abandon that exercise. Nothing is meant to feel pain. It's meant to be difficult, meant to be hard, the muscles are meant to get tight and strong and clenched up and feel great and blood rushes to them, but you're not meant to, if you feel joint pain, there's a problem. You're not meant to get, you're not meant to be in pain when you work out. So, hopefully that's been some help. Um, yeah, keep stretching. I sit, I would say, nice program of icing but I would say consult your doctor slash um, physio in terms of what exactly you should do on that they'll be much more qualified than I let me take this off now man. yeah anyway um, yeah I think I've covered everything on that never let your tiny joints mess with a big exercise um, always make sure that, that those tiny joints are protected uh, same things it's like just like when you're doing deadlifts and your, your grip starts giving out Use, use straps. Don't let your grip strength affect a massive move like a deadlift. Of course, the big muscles take precedence. Anyway, Bradley John Bradley Johnson? I will say that. Bradley and Johnson at gmail.com. If you have any queries or theories or suggestions or anything, let me know. Other than that, like the video, like my Facebook, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and of course, subscribe. Please.